Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you how I purchased my Louis Vuitton Sunset Boulevard clutch bag at a really bargain price and how I turned it from a bag which I was only going to use maybe once, maximum twice a year to a bag which I will now use quite regularly. So stay tuned. So before I show you the bag, I just want to give you a little bit of backstory. Um, about eight months ago, I had purchased this really beautiful black evening gown for a party which I plan to go to later this year. Um, and the, the dress itself is, is all black, but it's got sort of red orchid flowers across it. So I was on the hunt for a red leather clutch bag. And I didn't want to spend silly money on it because I just wanted a red bag to go specifically for that dress. And all the bags that I had seen were either way too expensive, you know, like the uh, the Chanel Wax. Um, you know, no matter how beautiful they were, I, there was no way I was going to spend, even in the pre-love market, um, they were going for about 13 to 1500 pounds, uh, probably, you know, close to 2000 US dollars. And, um, you know, there was no way I was going to spend that kind of money for a bag which I would only use very occasionally. And um, there was also a Valentino Rockstud bag which I saw which was beautiful size, it was the right size but I just felt all the gold studs around it made it a little bit too fussy to go with my dress. So um, anyhow, I, I just sort of left it at that. And then one night I was sleeping and I woke about three o'clock in the morning and I couldn't really get back to sleep so I <laughs> went on my phone, opened up the Vestia Collective app, as you do, and I started browsing. And then I saw uh, a listing for this really beautiful uh, Louis Vuitton Sunset Boulevard bag. And it was a bag that I hadn't um, seen before because I think it's been discontinued for a few years. I'm not sure how long it's been discontinued for. So I, I looked at all the pictures and it was exactly the color shade of red that I, I wanted and the size and everything was, was just perfect. So um, the, the seller had listed it for I think something like um, 400 pounds or something like that. And I would have been happy paying that price anyway, uh, but I'd noticed that there was an option to make an offer. So I thought, well, you know, since the option is there, I may as well make an offer, and if she accepts, great. If not, just negotiate. So I made an offer of about two hundred and fifty pounds, which is probably about four hundred US dollars, something like that. I'm not sure about exchange rate, so you'll have to excuse me. And um, so I, I didn't expect her to accept it, so I left it at that because it was like three o'clock in the morning. And anyway, I went back to sleep eventually, and when I woke, I got the message saying that my offer had been accepted. So I was really shocked, but thrilled. So I bought the bag, and when I received it, I couldn't have been happier because, let me show you, here it is. This is the Louis Vuitton Sunset Boulevard bag in vernis leather, and it's in the color Pomme d'Amour which is translated as apple of love. Don't you just love the French language? My goodness, it's so romantic. <laughs> and as you can see, it's uh, in pristine condition. No scratches on it whatsoever. The vernis leather is really shiny, absolutely beautiful. And the gold plaque at the front is this really, really shiny, not even one tiny scratch. And what I really like about it is that um, you know, a lot of the, the clutch bags that I saw were either too small or the opening would be too tight, too narrow. But with this one, look how wide it is. It's got six credit card slots and really roomy compartment, but also a large zip pocket at the front. So I was really happy with that. And it also came with a shoulder strap, but I, I I didn't want to um, use the shoulder strap because it's just too short. I mean, I'll show you, but I just think that it does look 
a bit odd on me because it almost comes up to my armpit. So you can see it's it's just yeah too short. I think I don't, I don't really I'm not too keen on it sort of you know where it kind of sits. So I thought well you know I would just use it as a clutch bag and um, and it just goes perfectly with the dress. And I thought, well, maybe one day I will um, find a, a strap that will match nicely with the bag. But the problem is, with this specific colour, the uh, Pomme de Mort, um, I just thought, well, unless I can find a, a vernis um, strap in this exact colour, it would look a bit strange with the, you know, the sort of beige uh, vachetta strap. Because this is... is this color on one side and it's that on the other. And I just didn't think, you know, if I, I've got a long strap, it would go, it, do you see what I mean? I, I mean, for me, I just felt it didn't look right. And uh, and also they don't do the uh, the Pomme de Mort in the Vernis anymore. So I thought, oh, well, never mind. Um, anyway, I didn't pay too much money for it. So even if I don't um, find a, a nice long strap, or, or I thought, well, maybe um, I could, look at uh, HRH Collection, if you have heard of her, she's a YouTuber who makes her own jewellery and she makes these really, really good um, bag straps. She, she does these sort of chain straps for, for bags in different lengths, but her straps are, I actually bought the silver one for a, a Versace bag that I have, but the chain is, is actually quite thick. so. I, I wasn't sure whether she would do a, a, a thinner one for small bags like these. So anyway, I thought I will one day find a strap for it. And um, but as it was, I was I was happy with this anyway. So I put it in storage, and I thought, okay, when the party comes, hopefully Christmas this year, I'll take it out and I will I will use it, and uh, and it will look lovely with my dress. Anyway, until recently. I filmed my uh, bag for every occasion video. So I took all my bags out and of course, you guys know I have this beauty here. This is my Alma BB. And when I put this together with this, I realized that they are the exact same color. I was just, because I always thought my Alma Bibi was Indian Rose and I must have remembered it wrong. But now seeing them side by side, I've realized that this is actually Pomme de Mort as well. So I took off the strap, the crossbody strap that comes with my Alma Bibi and I put it on the Sunset Boulevard. I'll just show you now. And hey, presto, I got myself another cross body bag. Look at this. Look how cute this is. And you know, it just looks so lovely with uh, even, you know, just jeans and t-shirts. It looks quite cute. And so now from a bag which I was only going to use maximum once or twice a year to now being able to use it regularly, uh, you know, even just going out to dinner or to the cinema, whatever, and, and, you know, not wanting to carry much things. But now it's, for me, it's become, with this crossbody strap, it's become a really functional bag for me. So I am so thrilled, especially at the price that I bought it for. So I couldn't be happier. And that's it. I really hope you enjoyed my video and if you did, please give it a like. And if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing to see what else I get up to. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care and don't forget to smile. Bye bye.